I've already lifted the lid on my toilet here. Uh, obviously, you know how to do that. If you look inside, there's a, a what's called a fill valve. And if yours looks like this, it's a, a fluid master valve. Uh, it's probably one of the more common uh, fill valves out there anymore. Uh, and yesterday, mine was getting to a point where it wasn't shutting off all the way. And that happens over time. And if, if you don't feel like replacing the whole valve, and at some point I'll, I'll do a video on how to do that, it's not difficult to do. But there's also a little hack and probably the fluid master people are not gonna like me for this one, but uh, we can repair this valve. We don't even need tools. Uh, I'll show you how to do it right now. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shut off our water at the valve. Incidentally, just so you know, plumbers call that an angle stop. Then we're gonna get inside the tank and do what we okay, need to do. Now we've got the water turned off. We wanna flush it and hold the handle down and drain the water out of the tank so that we can do what we need to do. Okay, now what we wanna do, this stem right here attaches with a little, it's a little clip attached to it and we want to detach it and take notice of, of where it is on there so that when you put it back on it's in the right spot it's going to function properly but we're just going to pull it away and it'll pop right off and you can see the clip that was holding it now in order you don't you don't want to try to pop this off because you'll break it uh, the way it's designed to come off is you want to hang on to the pipe and push down and turn a quarter turn to the left like that then it will lift right off and if you tip it over you'll see and I replaced this yesterday because my valve was running and wasn't turning off all the way what happens is these little uh, seals begin to get old and deteriorate well, I keep a little package of them right here in my uh, bathroom under the cabinet. And when I don't feel like replacing the whole valve, I'll just replace that seal. You can see there's a little metal stem that sticks out of there. And you want that to fit right on there. You pop it in place. Now, another thing that can cause the uh, uh, valve not to be able to turn off is sometimes we'll get mineral deposits in here uh, just from the water itself over time. So let's kind of flush those out. We can take a cup and kind of hold that over and then we'll turn the water on slightly. And you can see that it'll kind of flush it out. We'll turn it off. We'll turn it on again, flush it off or turn it off. <laughs> okay, that's good that'll blow out any of those mineral deposits then we're going to come in we're going to set that in place we're going to push down and turn it its eighth of a turn lift our stem back up get on the right spot clip it in place and we're good now we'll turn the water back on the valve Should shut off once, once the tank gets full, which it was not doing before. Let's see how we did. Here it comes. Boom, shuts off just like it's supposed to now. I'll put a link in the description uh, for the uh, uh, little rubber seals to replace these uh, the for your fluid master uh, great little hack uh, again when you don't feel like replacing the whole thing you just pop that top off of there uh, put that new seal in and, and you're you're good to go uh, thank you very much